I'm on that red Tonight, basketball of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks very much. We have all heard the rumors regarding Kyrie Irving's moodiness. His teammate Kevin Durant said, Kyrie is an artist. He has his way of doing things, and I support him 100%. Irving said, human beings have mood swings. I don't have to be perfect. My teammates know who I am, and I'm proud of who I am. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Irving and Dinwiddie share backcourt duties. In the post, it's Durant and Allen. And it's Lavert in at the small forward position. And for Houston, hard spots are the talented duo of Westbrook and Harden. Covington and Tucker man the post spots. And it's House in at the three spot. Greg, we've got two terrific highlight-making teams, both athletic in so many ways. You know, it makes me harken all the way back to college and one of my teammates, Stacy Ogden, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. But we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. Allen with it. Now Covington defending. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And Jared Allen, the big man out of Texas, a big part of his impact is how well he moves as a center. Very long and covers a ton of ground on both ends. He misses the free throw. And with Allen, the amount of four he can cover with a few steps is staggering. And, Kevin, it lets him take away chances and opportunities on D. Uh, on the other end, one step to the hoop, and he's completely relocated as a target. One of the best moving bigs in our league. And the second free throw, good. Well, think about Mr. Jared Allen. He was not the first family member to get picked in the NBA draft. Let's remember his dad taken by Dallas in the famous 1985 draft. His dad, however, would go on to have a playing career in Europe. Just Setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack and, and where's the help defensively to me that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball these guys need to be talking to each other and the foul called on Russell Westbrook that is his first foul of the game here's Irving Allen with the screen for Irving Boy, the ground Russell Westbrook can cover. It's incredible. The speed, the wingspan, breathtaking. 
A three ball. Brooklyn with the rebound. Outside Irving. Pass to Durant. Allen, a screen on Covington. It's Durant with the drive. Can't hit that one. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Here's Westbrook. And yes, it's good. Well, you have to respect the physicality of Russell Westbrook. This guy plays with power, and he will go right through a defender. Irving from long range. No good. And Houston the other way now. Covington passes to Harden. They set the pick. A three-pointer is right on target. And without a doubt, one of the most advanced scores this game has ever seen. Harden can do damage from just about anywhere. Now, here is Irving. Here's KD. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And with Kevin Durant recovering from the Achilles injury, glad we get to see one of the all-time greats back in action. No doubt, Greg. And KD is trying to navigate his way through one of the most difficult injuries a basketball player can face. But we know unequivocally this man will go down as one of the elite scorers in NBA history. That combination of size and shooting is truly something to behold. That free throw, no good. Now, Kevin Durant is an absolute nightmare for defenses. And if you're the opposing coach and he starts to take over, you've got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this guy? Houston making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. He's off on the second. And Kevin Durant, one of the greatest scorers to ever play. I mean, not the most prolific scorer, but perhaps the most talented. He's dangerous from any part of the floor. Greg, as scores go, Kevin Durant's as efficient as any. Uh, I mean, Durant has an insane field goal percentage for the shots that he takes. I mean, when you factor in how many threes he puts up, it gets Shoot even two. more impressive. Durant takes so many shots where he's covered and is still efficient. It's it just mind-blowing. No good on that one. Jordan, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Harris comes in for Karis LeVert. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. And DeAndre Jordan, not the same impact center he once was, but he's done a great job of acting as a leader for this team. Well, you think about DeAndre Jordan's career, Greg, and over the course of time, he's played a number of different roles. What you like about what he did this past season is, even though in a changing role, he still tried to make an impact. That's called being a teammate. Now, here is Irving. Harden missing his last shot. It's good. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Passes it to Covington. Harden outside. Over to the left wing. For three. Jordan with the rebound. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Irving can't get it to go. Yeah, and he had the D tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert the finish. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, he's a tough player. It's why Gordon's been one of the best role players in the league.
league his entire career. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Houston with a big group substitution here. Green, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Damari Carroll comes in for Robert Covington. Ben McLemore, he's checked in for James Harden. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And then for Brooklyn, Torian Prince, he's checked in for Durant. And Luwawu subbed in for Dinwiddie. And he's good on the second. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Irving passes to Jordan. Harris outside. Pass to Luwawu. They set the pick. He takes it in. It's stolen by Carroll. Rivers with it. To the middle. Green kicks to Rivers. There's the pass to Gordon. Launches it. And he's good on the three ball. It's so many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many. Got it to fall! He went down! He got it to fall! He did it! That's a miracle. Are, are you kidding me? Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Houston on top. They lead by three. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. And it seems like players are constantly changing teams. Here is Spencer Dinwiddie discussing the effects of it. As, as a team, as a unit, as a roster, we've had a lot of turnover, and so we're all adjusting and, and getting used to playing together and building that chemistry and, and, and that foundation. Greg Dinwiddie, one of those players who seems to adapt to any situation. I mean, he's versatile, total team player, will do whatever is asked of him. He's really emerged after being picked in the second round a few years ago. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what do you think? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. Ben McLemore is out there with Rivers. Then it's Damari Carroll. Then it's Green. And it's Gordon in at the three. That's the five for Houston right now. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Since the Nets acquired Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, the franchise has gone from being an up-and-comer to a potential powerhouse in the East. That's necessitated changes on the bench and on the court. As the Nets have added some new veterans. The time is now for Brooklyn to stand up and make its move in the East. Kevin, back to you. Well, we'll see how they do. David, thank you. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I think first and foremost, leadership. Uh, it, it's so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm. So, you know, the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end, that stuff's important as well. But so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to it, it is really paramount. Inside, here's Green. No good on the shot. Some solid defense there from KD. Prince in the corner. Has to Levert. This one for three. No good that time. And the Rockets take it the other way. Westbrook up top. Dinwiddie covering. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And the league's preeminent <laughs> practitioner of the step back three. James Harden is as good as it gets. And you know, like the sky hook, an unguardable shot. And paired with his dribble drive, a two-move torture chamber. 
And thanks to that step back, Harden already the all-time leader in unassisted three-point shots. And not to mention four-point plays. And up until recently, teams built elaborate offenses to create their three-point looks. Harden the first to do it one-on-one -on -one with volume and efficiency. First free throw is good. Robert Covington's checked in for Houston. Daniel House comes in for Ben McLemore. Drops them both. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Houston. It's a three-point game. Al Harden. He has five. And Harden is a nightmare in the pick and roll. Just a clever combo guard who is completely unpredictable. Passes it to KD. Puts the move on. It's rebounded by Houston. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Nets trail by six to the inside. And he makes good on the layup. Durant's got four this quarter. Boy, the strength of Kevin Durant is a thing of beauty. How about the ability to stay under control as he gets bodied? Dinwiddie against Westbrook. Into the lane. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. Carroll's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Gordon comes in for James Harden. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And a new group in for the Nets. Jordan, he's checked in for Allen. Harris comes in for Torian Prince. Luwawu Cabarro, he's checked in for Karis LeVert. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Dinwiddie. Pass to Harris. Dishes it to Irving. Carroll with the rebound. Houston leading by six. To the paint. Here's Covington. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's on Kevin Durant. Robert Covington sought out the contact, finishes the play, and now will try to finish the three-point play. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. How about up over the 80% mark from the line last year? So he's happy and What's also up? consistent there with those numbers. Free throw drops for Covington and the Houston Rockets last season going out and getting Robert Covington. Um, Greg, why was that a good fit for this team? You know, Kevin, his range shooting really unlocked Westbrook's ability to get to the lane. Also, Covington's contract creates some flexibility, one of the best values in the league as far as productivity. And there's Jordan putting it right back in. It is not easy trying to keep DeAndre Jordan off the boards. His combination of length and determination so impressive. Outside Gordon. Just three on the clock. And no good. And so it's the Houston Rockets bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. 
Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. Taking a look at the Rockets, and Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. They shot a great percentage from the field and not by accident. Their movement was good, they're making good decisions, and the coach loves to see that kind of efficiency out of his guys. Kenny, how'd you think the Nets were playing? In my mind, the defense was weak, very weak. They're letting guys run free, getting open shots, and no one, I mean no one on that team is stepping up. I know a premium has been placed on scoring in our league, but you still have to play defense because defense wins championships. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. One of the stories here, James Harden getting it done today. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but Boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. And Greg, you play with some big personalities. Talk about the best way to manage egos and conflicts in the locker room. That's a that's a very interesting, uh, interesting topic. No doubt about it. You know, Kev, first thing you learn from middle school on, your team is your family. And let's face it, all families have spats, uh, and so do teams. You just learn to never personalize those things. Never leave any stone unturned. Like, don't let things fester. When there are issues, you address them. Uh, and if you're not taking things personally, you tend to be able to work through whatever issues uh, you may come in front of. Good advice. Setting the floor for the Nets. In the post, it's Durant and Allen. Irving and Dinwiddie share backcourt duty. And it's Levert in at the three, the small forward. Boy, Westbrook, that balances out that speed and athleticism. That long-range shot is on point. Dinwiddie outside. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Westbrook dishes to Covington. Over Irving. Westbrook, no good. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Well, guys, we all know that there are some people who dislike James Harden's style of play. They're bored watching him shoot free throws. He said, I see how teams guard me and find ways to exploit it. I just outthink the game, and I'm faulted for it. Given that may be, it's hard to argue with the results. Back to you. You're right, one of the top scorers in league history, David. Thanks for that report. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. KD against Covington. Oh! oh. Uh, boy, how about the finish by Kevin Durant? Just gets up with such ease. Dinwiddie against Harden. And the basket is good. Harden's got the lead up to 10 now for the Rockets. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. So for the Rockets, Green, he's checked in for Robert Covington. And McLemore's subbed in for Daniel House. And a change for the Nets. Prince is checked in. Irving passes to Levert. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Levert's got his second basket of the night. I love watching Karis Levert be assertive on the offensive end, the ability to rise and fire in the catch and shoot. Harden, and the jam by Harden. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. All oh, right, and wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no chance to react. The, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Westbrook, no good. Nets trail by 10. Dinwiddie outside. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Let's the free fly. No good on that one. 
And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. It's Allen, top of the key. The dish to Irving. Shot clock at six. Off the mark here with a three-point shot. Rockets leading by ten. Westbrook finds Harden. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. So it's both teams making substitutions here. There's 10 seconds left to play here in the third. Irving attacking over Rivers. That one off the back iron and out. And so it's the Houston Rockets with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And we'll be right back after this. quarters behind us. Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Nets trail by 10. Rivers and Gordon make the backcourt. Jamari Carroll is out there with Robert Covington, and it's McLemore at the small fourth. That's the five for Houston right now. And there's the call on Durant. That's foul number two for him. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Now here's Rivers. That shot off. Great D that time from Irving. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And finished off by Katie. Well, Kyrie Irving, if you're open, he will find you. This guy is a scorer, but he understands others have got to come along with him. Here's Rivers. Count that one. Rivers has got his first two points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. The pass to Durant. Jordan sets the pick for KD. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. An emphatic LU jam. Uh, DeAndre Jordan simply a force around the cup. This guy has rare athleticism. Gordon inside. From 10 feet out, jump shot is good. And the Rockets lead by 10. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that move. Well, I'll tell you, I love that he's not afraid to take on the size mismatch there, Greg. It doesn't matter. Just make shots. For the Rockets, P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Damari Carroll. James Harden comes in for Ben McLemore. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Austin Rivers. Then for the Nets, Jared Allen's checked in for Jordan. Karis Levert comes in for Joe Harris. And Dinwiddie's subbed in for Luwawu Cabarro. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, I was able to listen in on what the Nets head coach was going over with his team. He told his guys, tempo, more tempo. You've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. We know that Robert Covington made his way into the NBA as a rotation player with his defense. Wow, is he good at using that length and quickness. Harden against Dinwiddie. Bucket is good. Harden's got the lead back up to 10 now for the Rockets. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Here's Durant. 
kept alive. Allen. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. Here is Harden. One forty-one left in the fourth quarter. Hands it from downtown. So many people know your story, born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons. Right. But to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling and Yes, it brings back a lot of fun. Like Find historically good, right? When Let's you think stop. of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. We felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. One thirty-one left in the fourth quarter. And here's Harden. Down low, here's Covington, and it's set back by KD. Boy, the long arms of Kevin Durant twice on the pipes. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. Here's Harden. Connects on the 17-footer. Harden's got 13 points in the second half. Nets trail by 10. 110 left in the game. Here's Durant. And that one is off. So Houston will take it the other way. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for Houston. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for James Harden. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. Irving against Harden. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Harden's got the lead up to 14 now for the Rockets. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Boy, KD just lethal on the drive to the rack, and he gets ahead of steam behind him. Forget about it. Harden with it. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much. James, congrats on the win. Great crowd tonight, but what made the difference down the stretch? You know, we just got to play solid defense. Uh, talk to each other, help each other out. That was amazing tonight. You know, it was unbelievable. Like I said, I'm happy, I'm happy for our guys. And, uh, you know, we got a good victory at home. Big, big win, James. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you.